taking the front grill off to expose the trans cooler. I'm going to replace the trans cooler. To get the front grill off, there's a 10 millimeter bolt here. And then there are four little thingies. One here. I'll tuck one there. One there. And one there. And essentially what you do is you use a Phillips screwdriver. And you see the clean areas, that's where it is in a normal situation. You just turn it kind of at a 45 degree angle. There's the grill. And that's where the 10 millimeter bolt is. That's the first of the weird 45 degree angle clips. The second, there are two more on the bottom. And then also, be careful, don't pry it away too hard because on each side uh, are these retaining clips over here. So you have to kind of pull it out carefully. So six things holding this on. And once you get it off, you've got good access to the trans cooler. Uh, I'm guessing that's uh, power steering cooler. And the big thing is the AC condenser. I'm going to go ahead and switch out the trans cooler for a brand new one. So the trans cooler, ugh, pull these little clips, these little plastic things away. And they expose transmission line C-clips right here. With a pick, they're not too, too terrible. Let's snap back on. I got a shadow on this side. But there goes one side. And there it is. So I'm going to put this right here for now. And then this guy right here. clips. That's what those guys look like. My transmission has already been emptied, but I got a pan underneath just in case. Transmission Cooler Line Analysis. It comes from the transmission on this line right here. On that one. The one on the left. Looking down. Passenger side. It goes into... Alright, so this is on the way from the transmission. So hot. We got hot. It is going to go in the radiator in the bottom. It does its thing in the radiator, right? And it comes out of this top radiator. All right, so it has been cooled by the radiator. And then it goes down and then it goes underneath the front of the car, right through that line right there, jiggling that line. So from the top of the radiator, it comes through this pipe right here, and it goes in to the secondary transmission cooler. It does its thing, do 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 And now I, I have disengaged the line, but assuming then it comes out on that line right here, which, is if I shake it look at this it is the line that is the line that 
goes back to the transmission. So that's the cold line. All right. Okay. Disconnected that line, but I can't get this one disconnected. So I took this clip out of here. All right. And then I took another clip. Okay. I took a clip out of here. I took a clip out of here. And I took a clip out of here. So that's three clips. Put him, put him to the side for now. And all right. So what was holding those in are these retaining clips. So that's what the ten millimeters were screwing into. Not that I'm gonna have to use those again. That's the old sucker. All right. Transmission cooler assembly. It comes with everything in a big bag. And it looks scary when it's in a big bag. So in order to take some of the apprehension out of it, I like to separate everything so that things hang out with like things. And then it doesn't look so intimidating. Uh, the other thing I did was this drawing right here, pretty self-explanatory. You got a hex, one of these guys, and then let's see here, he goes through one of these guys, facing the other way. All right, then you got the radiator, then you got the other guy, like this. All right, then you got a spacer, like this. Come on, spacer. Hang out where you're supposed to. Then you got a washer. Then you got the frame. Okay, I'm gonna just lay this guy down. You got a washer. You got a nut. And if you have trouble understanding what all this nonsense means, it's really basically this. Very, very simple. And then when you put it all together, it looks something like this. Of course, the uh, radiator's not there, but that essentially is the same thing as this. It looks like we're going to uh, install the two bottom brackets are gonna go where the stock one went, uh, but as far as this upper one, we're gonna have to do a little bit of drilling and a big deal there either. So once you go from that big scary bag with millions of little pieces into essentially assembled pieces, doesn't look that bad. All right, let's do this. Got my old hardware bag right here. These are two 10 millimeter bolts. Clean up. Get ready to drill a pilot hole here. 
bottom hole. Okay. Now they say a seven thirty seconds hole. I'm adding washers. Just cause. As far as the temperature sensor is concerned, can't use the original bar, so I'm gonna go ahead with this L bracket. This is, this is where the hard lines came out. And I just called Flexolite and I said, which one is the inlet and which one is the outlet? They told me that the top is the inlet and the bottom is the outlet. So that line I'm gonna run from the top of the radiator. Ooh, there, it's gonna come up right here, and it's gonna go into here. This line right here is gonna come out and because I can't connect it to this hard line, I can't connect it to that. I'm gonna run this line down and I'm gonna splice into that rubber line right there and tie them all together. Original trans cooler, original line coming up. Snip the line. There's the line and we're gonna go into there. All right, stalker. The stock is in on the left and the flexolite line is on the right. The diameters are different. But the diameters, thank goodness, are different on this too that they've sent. So just make sure you get the diameters right. One is smaller than the other. The stock transmission cooler outline is the hotline. Just went right back into the new radiator. And the new line coming out at the top is attached to a long hose that goes down and actually comes up here and temporarily goes into the top and then essentially the return line is right there. Now I've left the hoses long because I'm not really in a big hurry. I need to get everything wired up with my radiator including a bunch of uh, hoses that are going to go over there on the passenger side and I want to make sure I got enough room. So the last thing I want to do is cut a hose and then realize that I wish I had had more room. So I'll get everything in and then I'll figure out the length that I want for those hoses.